Hi folks. I'm not sure if anybody's watching yet. Huh. I just wanted to start off talking about um, my practice and why I'm here today. Um, so I am an Irish multimedia artist practicing in Leicester. Um, I'm interested in virtual and concrete space, which I portray through abstract structures that I produce. These are made from um, metal, acrylic, and combining multiple layers to create a vocal point for the viewer. Um, I also use film to capture the intimate processes of an artist and the ideas and methodologies from constructing and deconstructing, almost collaging in a way but with different media. My work is influenced by my practice in making, constructing and realisation in artwork in a studio or shown space. I'm interested in how the creative process negotiates light, space, architectural boundaries and objects within that space. Um, I am from um, Northern Ireland, um, a small fishing village called Kilkeel. Um, I studied over in Northern Ireland doing my level three BTEC in art and design and um, moved forward to foundation um, and then um, came to Leicester to, to study in the Montfort University and did do a degree in fine art. Um, so my work is predominantly multimedia with sculpture. I use a range of different materials such as metal or wood and I also use digital media as well. Um, it's usually based upon my collages that I create when working in a space using its architectural structures and the nooks and crannies within the space. I also explore the hindrances within the making process, whether it be through video or installation or maybe combining both. When I combine both these approaches, they create a dialogue with many questions that also create an engagement for the viewer. So I also wanted to talk about um, a few artists um, and factors, you know, that um, make or influence me in my practice. So um, the ones that I would most like go towards would be Peter Elishman, um, Fish and Advice, Florence Henry, and Charlotte Posenixi. I'm not sure I probably butchered that name. Um, I also have a few books that inspire me as well. Um, I'm currently reading Ways of Seeing John Berger's. I'm also reading Ways of Curating. And I am also reading 100 Artists' Manifestos. I'll also have that link as well if anybody wants to have a nosy at those. Um, I suppose people are wondering what is my favourite um, artwork at the minute. I did um, the MAMA online courses and um, through that there was like different um, structures each week. It was a five week course and um, so I was most interested in um, transforming everyday objects and through that I came upon Marcel Duchamp's bicycle wheel of 1951. This piece of artwork in relation to the sense of um, procreating and something for another use and um, Distorting that set object um, is very interesting to me. 
And this particular piece of artwork is very minimal, but it's, it also says so much in terms of linearity. And um, in, sorry, um, so in terms of linearity and shapes within the space and um, slash negative space, creating a dialogue between the stool and the bicycle way. Um, as a creative, I fully resonate with this piece. Um, the storing of everyday objects and collaging them back into the space in which they're creating um, by letting them own the space in its entirety um, and challenging the audience's perception of the piece and um, creating a dialogue that may be present when even leaving um, the room and um, creating speculation. Um, there's also a term that I seen while doing this on my course is that art is beautiful um, but I feel like the bicycle way is contradicting that so um, it is um, um, so um, it's basically taking art is beautiful out of the equation and causing a more robust explanation on what this could be um, more questioning, more confusion, more empty space for the audience's interpretation. Um, the viewer's perspective is very important in um, artwork. Um, if the artwork doesn't be seen by anyone, um, is it actually really art? Who knows? Um, but basically you create work for yourself. Um, and if someone engaging with that artwork, it makes it more special. Um, um, in January, um, I was lucky enough to be a recipient of um, Art Corps Graduate Residency with a long, along with four other talented artists. And through this, I transitioned from the mindset of a university student with amazing facilities to conjure my creative intent to um, practicing artists that didn't have the availabilities that I did as a student, um, working with ideas and trying to find ways in which to execute them more in more a mature way. And I pretty much this residency helped me in more ways than one and just wanted to thank Art Court for that. So what I'm currently doing, I'm um, working on a residency um, with um, the lovely We Belong Here people. Um, I'm working alongside um, Colin Frank, who is a percussionist. Um, we are working together on a simple yet complex um, concept: how we bring back art into bring art back into the masses after starting from scratch, and um, whether it be post COVID nineteen or a dystopian event. This idea of familiarity um, in the distorted hybrid space um, created within a quarantine space, with the end result being an interactive online experience for the viewer. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, it's a really great opportunity to make, um, make friends and also create while being confined in quarantine. Um, it's a great way to meet people and I'm thankful for all the ladies that we belong here who chose me. Um, does anybody have any questions?
put the legs in here so you can have a nosy. Hopefully the legs work. If not, just call. Then you um, you can also um, view my artwork if you want to have a nosy um, on my website and Instagram. My website would be a more formal. Um, compilation of what I've been doing but my Instagram would have more behind the scenes and um, what I'm doing day to day little um, snippets of what I'd be up to um, hope this is working Has anybody got any questions? Any questions? Um, Natasha just wrote, um, what are some of the things you're planning to explore thematically in your upcoming work? I'm not sure what thematically means. Uh, let me see. In a way that relates to the subject or the things of something. Mm. 
So basically, it would be um, um, thinking about um, the uh, thematics of space um, and production, um, exploring them in more detail, whether it be physical space or um, virtual space. Um, during this residency, I am, well, we both are currently working on um, hybrid spaces um, inside um, of the humble abode. Um, so it's basically um, working on disorientating, but also causing a familiarity for most of the viewers. I hope that must answers your question. Um, what are the top tips for getting over creative block? Well, I have many of those. I have many a creative block. Um, but um, my advice or my top tips would be not to um, rush the process. And um, if you need time, um, take that time, whether it be a week, whether it be a few months, um, a few people I know have had creative block and haven't been doing um, much work except for researching um, and reading. So I think maybe um, my top tips would be um, reading, researching, and then through that um, you should overcome your creative block. So, I also have a question. Um, have, how have you been managing to make work during lockdown? So, um, my process is usually analog. Um, so, I would create um, collages and um, I would usually take photos of the spaces and print them out and collage them analogly, analogy, yeah, with my hands. Um, but um, during this lockdown, um, I have no way of um, printing things out. Unfortunately, my printer broke. So I've been doing everything um, collage-wise digitally. I'm still using the process of taking photographs, but then um, photoshopping them in Photoshop. I am also I also use my um, camera and um, to take videos of the space. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I manage to make my work during lockdown. Um, I've also um, been doing um, using new things that I wouldn't have used before, using new softwares um, and things like that. I've currently been using SketchUp. Um, it's at first it was a bit daunting, but um, once you get into it, it's fine. Um, it's good to create a virtual space, a hybrid space, and um, then that can take your creative ideas to the next level and um, mission everything together. Any more questions, folks? Thanks, guys. That's all from me today, I think. Um, yeah. Thank you. Bye.